Okay, um, this is going to be sort of my first impressions of the, um, what is this, the Samsung Rugby? It's the first one. I'm not exactly sure why, but my camera continues to go out of focus. So, sorry for that, but, um, you don't really need to see anything anyway. Um, Samsung Rugby first gen not second gen um, date this is made I believe it's the 28th of um, what would that be July 2011 and the second gen has been out for a while uh, I was on a very limited budget when I just purchased this phone um, Numerous things got wet on a boat ride to Baltimore. Um, GoPro Hero HD. Um, don't remember the name of my last phone, but I think it was the most expensive Go phone you could get. Um, kind of looked like a Blackberry. Um, yeah, and that got wet, that broke, so I figured it's about time I get a waterproof phone, um, something that can take the beating that I will surely give it. Um, didn't want to buy the second gen, actually like the looks of the first gen better. Um, haven't really heard anything negative about the first gen, really. Um, so, I went ahead and got the first gen, saved a lot of money, got this for, bring this back into focus here, um, got this for like 60 bucks, it wasn't new, it was off eBay, it was new other, um, so it's pretty much just like new, never really used, but it wasn't in its original box, had all the screen protection plastic taken off of it, um, so, it wasn't new, but it was pretty much new. So what you're seeing here is basically a new one. Um, I already walked around the phone a little bit. Um, but basically, first impressions, it feels really rugged. Um, bigger than most phones. Uh, I don't believe I have a phone just laying around. Actually, one second, I do. Sorry about that, just went over to the phone graveyard and... Got this old, I don't know the model number of this either, but old Verizon phone. And um, as you can see, it's a good bit bigger. Wow, this thing is like really old school though. Still got the antenna and everything on it. This is the one with the speakers on the side and the play buttons on the front. This was a really popular phone back for Verizon a little while ago. So it's a good bit bigger, as you can see wider, taller, and um, about the same thickness. It's still a little bit thicker. So it's a big phone, and I mean, I don't have huge hands, but I got normal sized hands, and this thing is big. Flip it open and sit it side by side with, like, this is like a regular sized phone. Maybe a little bit on the smaller side but the single focus I don't know what's going on with it but you can still kind of see that this is a good bit bigger so it's big it's heavy um, you could like I don't know, you could definitely like knock somebody out with this phone especially with the little metal lanyard hook thing there you could cause some damage. I was considering buying a watermelon. Seeing if I could smash it with the uh, phone here. But, first impressions big, heavy. Um, looks good. It's very yellow. Um, I knew that before I bought it. I like the yellow. Um, speaker grill. 
dents uh, fairly easily. I believe I have a little dent up in the corner already, which I have thrown this thing around a little bit in the past few hours. But um, nothing crazy, and that's already got a little dent in it. Um, surprised that they would do that, knowing that this thing will get thrown around. So that thing will dent. Um, back to battery cover is, I knew it had this little, we can come back into focus here. Um, I knew it had this little latching mechanism here, which is, as soon as it comes back into focus, it's a little circle with a groove in it that you would insert a penny or something of that sort to turn it which this thing really doesn't want to focus. Um, sorry about that, but basically you turn it, it pops the back off, which I will do. I don't have a penny. I'm hoping this will work, but I wish it should. Stay. Okay, maybe it won't. Oh, uh, yeah, it will. Alright, so you spin that thing around, pops the back off as soon as we come into focus, and underneath you have the battery. I had the, uh, once the other phone broke, my family just has like a backup phone, just in case, um, anybody's phone breaks until we can get a new one. We had the, uh, it's the Samsung, uh, A107, I think it is. It's like the $5 Go phone. Um, it's the really cheap one. It's got the same battery as that. Um, which is nice, and what else was the same? Something else was the same, but I don't remember what. Um, charger's the same, too. So, then inside you got the SIM card slot here, up here. Um, memory card slot here. After dropping this thing and throwing it around a little bit, the SIM card worked its way out just a little bit. Not enough to cause any problems, but it did work its way out a little bit. The square there, um, that will turn red if it gets wet in here. So if that turns red, and if this white bit on the battery turns red, you're screwed and it's not covered under your warranty. Um, so yeah. And... You just press the back back on and this thing will turn a little bit and then you go ahead and turn it the rest of the way and lock it down and it really clamps down and that back plate had an o-ring on it uh, I don't know if I forgot to show you that or not but yeah um, buttons really big on it um, easy to hit easy to text um, 